We're looking for candidates who are board eligible or board certified in a primary specialty who have developed an interest in the treatment of addiction. So the ideal candidate uh, will be in a residency at the time of candidacy or have uh, decided to look into addiction medicine as a second career. Addiction occurs across the spectrum of humanity and in all sectors. And uh, here in New Orleans, we have the opportunity to be exposed to all of those uh, because we don't only work with people that are distressed or maybe homeless, but we also work uh, with people that have a job or have workplace supplied insurance. And um, we have opportunities here uh, through the university and also uh, through contracts developed by the fellowship to work in a, a wide variety of, of uh, service facilities. One of the things that I like the most about my job is again the opportunity to talk to a lot of different people and realize that this affects a lot of different people in a lot of different ways. Um, also that we have good quality evidence-based medical treatments that are heavily underutilized. So we hope to produce a workforce that feels comfortable and competent in not only treating patients but also in um, helping other people and other physicians treat patients uh, where they're at. We uh, have experiences that are um, spread out across the local New Orleans healthcare systems. Um, mostly what we have is inpatient services at the Tulane University Medical Center um, as well as the uh, VA uh, local medical center. The fellows will be exposed to a number of different treatment uh, experiences, uh, some in uh, private sector facilities that are abstinence-based and 12-step oriented, and some that are outpatient, and uh, some that are harm reduction, and uh, some that are pure medication for the treatment of opiate addiction. Going back to my time as a med student and in residency, there were so many patients that I saw that were either they had a chronic uh, pain syndrome and I was prescribing pain pills and at times questioning whether or not I was treating the pain or enabling the addiction or they had some other underlying substance use disorder, say alcohol or, or even illicit substances. And I knew the criteria for determining if they were problematic use. Now I'm able to manage these disorders and I feel like I'm able to move mountains for my patients. I'm able to help them get their kids back, help them manage legal issues, get a job and really fit into society. And it's so rewarding. New Orleans is just a wonderful location. It's a vibrant city. It's old and it's new and uh, there's lots of opportunity. Tulane uh, for instance, is the largest employer in the city, and so that gives you some sense that there's a strong academic uh, opportunity here in the city. There's a, a lot of cultural activities that are available, and uh, the training opportunities are uh, without equal. So I've lived pretty much everywhere else in the country that there is to live. And uh, we've, my wife and I have just really found our home here. I've got a young daughter and we've got a lot of great friends here. Um, there's a lot of great parks and recreational opportunities. There's a lot of great festivals, amazing music, really good food, um, great people, and obviously a very resilient people. People that have been through a lot of um, tragedies and difficulties. And that certainly has kind of created a, a breeding ground for addiction. Um, and so I think it's uh, awesome to have this opportunity to learn and help the community um, while we uh, train this future cohort of addiction specialists. We're looking for people that have an interest in the treatment of addiction out of uh, some recognition that the body of knowledge is robust and that the treatment is miraculous when it's successful.